Calcium chloride is a great chemical. Let's draw its Lewis structure to celebrate how wonderful it is. Calcium is a metal. It's in the alkaline earth metal column, but more importantly, it comes from the left side of the staircase on the periodic table. Hydrogen is an exception. Everything else here is a metal. Chlorine is a non-metal. It comes from the right side of the periodic table. When a metal and non-metal get together, they form ionic compounds, which means the metal will give away its electrons to the non-metal and they'll both become ions. Let's see how that might work. Calcium is in group two. That means it brings two valence electrons with it. There you go. Chlorine is in group 17. It brings seven valence electrons with itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I spread them out before I started doubling them up. Now, nonmetals want a full eight electrons in their outer shell to satisfy the octet rule. This chlorine has seven, which is one short. Luckily, calcium is a metal and is willing to give away electrons. It will give away, say, this electron to the chlorine. Now, chlorine has a full eight and is happy and stable. Calcium is not, though, because it still has one extra valence electron that has not been dealt with. Where is it going to go? Well, if you build in a second chlorine with its seven valence electrons, calcium can donate that extra electron there. It will become happy because it's given away all its electrons, and both of these chlorines are happy and stable because they have eight electrons each. This is how the bonding happens. Let's draw the Lewis structure. Chlorine had seven electrons to start, but now has a full eight. That's one more than it started with, which gives it a minus one charge. You'll have to draw it twice because after all, you needed two of them to absorb all the electrons that calcium was giving away. Calcium had two and now has none, so don't put any dots there, but do show a plus two charge to represent the fact that it had given away two electrons. This is the full and complete Lewis structure of calcium chloride. Let me note, you might be allowed to take a shortcut. You might be allowed to show two times that chlorine. It just saves you from having to write it out twice also show the calcium with the plus two. Both of these are separate and valid Lewis structures. Find out which one your teacher prefers and do it that way. The last thing I want to point out, you needed two calciums to absorb all the electrons that calcium was giving away. That's why the formula is CaCl2, two chlorines for every calcium. It's a beautiful thing, just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.